Europe to me means unity, culture and history. Knowledge, experience and freedom. It means learning from each other. Es ist eine große politische Offenheit, Europa aus Freiheit zu gestalten. Kapitalism. New friendship. Chocolate. Better future for everybody. Challenge. Europe at Heart ist ein Filmwettbewerb, der sich vor allem an junge Filmemacherinnen und Filmemacher wendet, in Europa, aber im Prinzip auch darüber hinaus. Die Botschaft des Wettbewerbs ist, junge Filmemacherinnen und Filmemacher zu involvieren. Sie so selber sollen Teil der Auseinandersetzung um dieses europäische Projekt sein. Sie sollen ihre Kritik äußern, sie sollen ihre Zukunftsvorstellungen äußern, sie sollen auch ihre Begeisterungsfähigkeit äußern äh, und vor allem die Vielgestaltigkeit Europas uns vorführen. It's very clear that with language, uh, written language and political language, sometimes we have grown more apart than together. And I think that maybe with movies we can grow closer rather than, than apart. die das erste Mal seit dem Krieg, seit 20 Jahren, zurück in ihr ehemaliges Heimatland Kroatien fahren. Sie sind auf der Fahrt zu einem Familientreffen, zu einer Familie, die sie im Grunde gar nicht kennen. Und das löst also sehr unterschiedliche Gefühle bei den beiden aus. Sie muss mich doch informieren, wenn wir in irgendein Land fahren, das ich gar nicht kenne. Irgendein Land ist mit in Europa, was redest du? Ja, Europa, hallo, wir können hier noch nicht mal mehr mit Euro zahlen. Ja, noch nicht. Ja, ja noch nicht. nicht. Also es ist noch nicht wirklich Europa. Noch nicht, aber bald. <lacht> ja, bald. Aber die Menschen ändern sich nicht so schnell. Ich bin ja selber nicht Kroatin, aber als ich die, ähm, das Drehbuch geschrieben habe, war mir schnell klar, dass ich auf jeden Fall jemanden brauchte, vor allen Dingen von den Schauspielern her, die da nochmal was dazugeben damit das authentisch wird. Dass du nur am Nörgeln bist, die ganze Zeit. Langsam die Nase voll. Ist dir das hier alles egal? In meinem Film war es mir einfach wichtig zu zeigen, was so große Auswirkungen wie Krieg und Flüchtlingsproblematik auf, auf, auf die Leben von einfach zwei Leuten auswirken kann. Apostel. Ich würde dem Zuschauer einfach so ein bisschen das Gefühl vermitteln von einer gewissen Wurzellosigkeit, von, also von Ängsten, von Vorteilen, ähm, die man hat gegen ähm, quasi Länder. Also in dem Fall ist es ja das Heimatland, lustigerweise, ja, wo, wo man das man gar nicht kennt, aber das man irgendwie kennenlernen muss, um irgendwie zu wissen, wer man selber ist. Mir bedeutet Europa natürlich, abgesehen davon, dass es irgendwie zu Hause ist, auch, dass ich große Hoffnung da reinstecke, dass es Länder gibt, die sagen, wir stehen jetzt dafür, dass das füreinander ein und dass, dass der Frieden herrscht. Das finde ich schon toll. And our movie, it's inverted reality. We are a 
very international team. There is Stefania from Italy, Clara from Romania, Dania and me from Spain, Malena from Germany and Jose from Mexico. Very rapidly we realized that we had the same ambitions in life and the same will of changing Europe. Our film, it's about um, a fantastic project we, uh, Cristina did, which is Tu Pueblo. They develop a, a project of export uh, of wine and cheese uh, to the UK. Empezamos ya en el 1995, tuvimos la certificación ecológica, fuimos de los primeros en España. Nosotros lo hacemos como, si, como nuestra filosofía de, de vida. No solo es una etiqueta que ponga ecológico, es, es algo más, es todo lo que engloba el trabajo en el campo y todo lo que se hace. Europa para mí significa un todo, el conjunto de facilidad, el, el poder eh, moverte con facilidad por, y visitar todos los países y hacer comercio con todos los países. The movie is to encourage young people to go back to where they come from, maybe their home country or their home village. Among young people, we easily understand each other, we are easily communicating, we are easily developing projects. Uh, we have a history that backs us up, that it's, it's very positive in many senses and has made us bond. And if we just took a bit more advantage of that and, and found happiness on the collective and on sharing. And this is, this is one of the most wonderful things in Europe happening at the moment, the sharing communities. That's the only way. <laughs> it's very important to define the utopias. And I guess uh, our collective utopia was that of, of being able to go back to the village. ¿Qué les diría a los jóvenes que se han ido fuera? Que le echen ánimo al asunto una vez que hayan finalizado eh, su carrera, sus estudios, sus especialidades, por lo menos que intenten volver a su país, a sus orígenes, a sus pueblos, a sus ciudades y emprender algún tipo de negocio. I started this project two years ago. I was living in Ukraine for, for a short time and I became aware of, of this problem that exists with discrimination and racism. So I wanted to expose this problem to maybe to people in Western Europe and the rest of the world who aren't too familiar with Ukraine. Um, you know, and I also wanted to, to look at Ukraine in particular because it's, it's part of Europe kind of, but it, it's often forgotten. It's a little bit isolated. Um, you know, and also not only to explore issues of discrimination and racism, but also um, sort of paint a portrait of, of these individual people and also the, this community. When was the last time you were in Nigeria? Huh. I've, nev I've never visited Nigeria since I came to this country. I only talk on phone with my people. In 20, 25 years? Yeah, for, the last, for the t t this 25 years. I've never visited Listen, I, I know I will go back home, whatever it takes. No matter where, but I will go home. This is not my country, actually. I came here for a while, so I have to go. So that's it.
the more time you, you spend with people, the better, um, because, it, you know, you gain trust and they, little by little they, they open themselves up more and you gain insights in, into their story and also their personality. And I really wanted to kind of make the uh, character-based documentary. We have tried to solve this problem peacefully, but the reality is cruel. I ended up interviewing a neo-Nazi or a white supremacist. The things that he was saying were, were absolutely shocking um, and really alarming. And it was difficult to not just blow up in his face about it or pick a fight with him. But I held my tongue and, you know, knowing that, that films in particular can be a very powerful weapon. So I couldn't really do anything then, but um, I think the movie will hit back for itself. So. When soldiers kill each other in a war, it's good or bad. It's neither good nor bad. It's a war. <coughs> People of different cultures could never live peaceful in the same society. If you want to know about Africans, I'll tell you this. Ukraine can, can take a lesson from the rest of Europe in terms of, of diversity, but um, Western Europe should also look to Ukraine because it's, it's a problem everywhere. I think what is really nice about Europe at heart is it could be an inspiration for people to see how very different people deal with this idea of Europe. When I was reading the application, my criteria was uh, do I feel something and do I see something? And that's always, as a filmmaker, I think that's something that you're searching for. Wichtig für uns war vor allem, dass die Jury wirklich europaweit zusammengesetzt ist, dass es keine Verengung auf ein oder zwei Länder gibt, sodass man wirklich die Vielfalt der Perspektiven und der Interessen auch in der Jury abgebildet sieht. The message with my movie is the difference between cultures where the sun is really present and with cultures that is the darkness really present during a long periods of the year. The idea with the film I I got because it's always has always been interesting for me about how we how our social patterns look like. I'm always thinking about these periods when it's so dark that you you actually sit most of the time inside and uh, the darkness like I don't get daylight uh, when I'm at work. You create a social context inside uh, your home. To come into the to the darkness culture is, is not easy, and I have friends that are coming from from more sunny countries to to Sweden, and they find it sometimes really hard to come into that because the darkness really like changed our social patterns. The access to actually step over and be invited home it can take some while. It can be harder when it is a dark period of the year. Du kan ta av dig glasögonen medan du går upp. Okay. Så där liksom alltså det blir ja, lite. Du blir mer en rörd. Ja. Ja. <laughs> Europe as my home. Uh, it's really gotten to me the last year. I mean, I, I live in Germany and uh, learn more about my own culture since I came here. In Europe, 
we are really different countries, which means that we can't, we can't combine and we can't become one unit. We can become many units that can combine each other to work on different topics, but we need to choose which topics that should be. And when we do right choices, I think we can really develop. I'm Gabriele and I'm from Lithuania and my movie called Their Home Here. My movie is about five people who went out and like already long time not living in the hometown and what were problems we're dealing with, what's, what's all about you know when you are leaving your hometown and how they're creating a new home there in a new country. It was really difficult to, um, to find uh, the way to, uh, to have uh, money back from, I don't know, rent or um, sanity, uh, all this stuff. It's not about one identity. It's, uh, of course, I have a Croatian identity, I have an Italian identity. So you can multiply them. It's not that you have to stick to one certain identity. Why not having a European identity? This wall is like each of little piece from my travels, what I, you know, collecting and bringing there when I'm coming back. Uh, this was from Italy, and this one I got from the artist. I really like this one. This is uh, from Erasmus. <laughs> I have Europe on my wall. Home for me when I'm thinking, so first the place where I'm born, so this is the first home, but then I think for me is home where I feel comfortable. My name is Rafia Drenčeva, I'm from Bulgaria and our movie is about European projects in Bulgaria. I'm Christiana Kirova, I'm from Bulgaria and Russia and our movie is about what she said. <laughs> Our aim was to show that, uh, you know, Europe is actually helping a really small village and it's not just, you know, the people in big uh, cities that, you know, get all the help. The Earth is a very small village. It's not a It's a very small village. We Казвам се Костарин Озунов, от село Сатовче съм, на 23 години съм и се занимавам с нали, земеделие. С програма нали, 121 Млад Фермер. Моето стопанство включва а, ябълки и лешници. Без те нали, програми не може да оцелеем. Европа kind of, uh, their family. You know, they give you funding for farming, but this is not just money for farming for those people. This gives their uh, future to their families, to the grandson of this old guy. That's, why, well, that's what he said at the end of the film, that the biggest blessing in this world is to make something which you can leave to your, pass on to your uh, offspring. So this is what they get from those money. It's not just paper and money, it's future. The disadvantages of Europe are, is actually, you know, this disintegration of people. And uh, I, this is the biggest chance I see for Europe. 
you know, to, to unite and uh, understand that, you know, if we're together, we're more powerful than if we're separated. In our area, there's a lot of mess, but this is the charm in, in here, this messiness. So we should think about how to integrate all of this into one single thing that will work. We had some technical difficulties, definitely. <laughs> I had to be a little bit bossy sometimes, but it was fine. <laughs> to keep everything, to regulate everything. <laughs> With the sound, maybe. The mixer, the mixer! <laughs> and the sound. <laughs> I, I really learned that. I learned a lot about filming during this process.